Hello everyone and welcome back to another Hot Sauce video. I have the October box from Hot Ones by Heatonist here. Uh, we have three new sauces to try. I know we're getting a new last dab in this box, so I'm really looking forward to trying that one out. It's supposed to be made with peppers that are even hotter than Carolina Reapers and hotter than Pepper X. I think Pepper X is what they used in the previous last dab. So here we have our box here. Here's our little card. Has our um, information on the sauces right there. We have our sauces. We have some, there's some stickers inside as well. Move that out of the way. So we have this Apollo pepper sticker for this month, as well as just a heatnist sticker. And this is the so the first one from left to right is the last dab. We're going to be doing that one last, so I'm going to skip that one for now, and we're going to move into the other um, sauces first. We'll do the last dab last. Save the hottest one for last, right? So, first sauce here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the card up. So this is the, uh, let's see, this is the Dawson's Hot Sauce um, Shawarma Sauce. So I've had shawarma before. First time I've ever heard of shawarma was in the Avengers, but I actually, ha actually had it before. It's pretty good. So this is the Dawson's Hot Sauce Shawarma Sauce. So says, I know Dawson's is to love Dawson's, and now we're back with a knock your socks off sauce that's loaded with garlic and savory spices, more mild than wild. Shawarma Sauce features uh, cayenne for a gentle heat, uh, hit of heat. Paired to a secret spice blend and a uh, touch of honey. Perfect uh, companion for meat that's been uh, cooked on a stick. Like all of Dawson's hot sauces, shawarma sauce also features extra virgin olive oil for a su super rich texture. Try it with roasted cauliflower, hummus, or chicken and rice. So here we have our Dawson's sauce here. Again, shawarma sauce. Let's see what's actually in this. So the ingredients here. Let's see if they give you an ingredient list. Uh, cayenne, vinegar... Garlic, extra virgin olive oil, honey, spices, red chili pepper, uh, sea salt, granulated garlic, and uh, chili powder. All right, let's go ahead and try this. This one actually has like a wax um, thing you got to peel off. I've seen this, these kinds of labels before, but never on a hot sauce. So that's actually pretty cool. So we got to peel this uh, wax covering off, it looks like. Might actually be pretty difficult to get this off. Let me just get a pair of scissors where you can actually start chipping away at some of this wax. Alright, so of course this can be quite a challenge. I might have to just pause the video and uh, get it open in a little bit. That's what we're actually what we're gonna do. So uh, we're gonna get this, gonna pause this. We're gonna get this wax off of here, and then we're gonna taste it. So we'll be right back in just a moment. All right, so we're back. We got enough of the wax off of here that we can now actually um, try the sauce. So got the lid to come off. We're gonna uh, give it a shake, get it open. Got that in there as well. Little cap. All right, let's go ahead and again. This is the shawarma sauce. All right, there we go. That looks good. Got a little bit of the sauce just on our bread here. Go ahead, give this a shot. Got pretty good flavor. Doesn't have a ton of heat. There's a little bit of heat just building up now, but not a lot of heat. But definitely kind of like a nice, kind of like very, kind of like subtle flavor. Not a lot of heat though. I wonder what the um, actual like Scoville uh, measurement on this sauce is. So this is, again, Dawson's hot sauce. It's shawarma sauce. 
Looks like this company's been around for about seven years now, so established in 2013. So that's Dawson's. We're going to move into our next sauce. The heat's building up a little bit, but it's not, not a lot. All right, here is our next sauce. We have, uh, looks like another uh, Shaquanda sauce. I think we had one of, one of their sauces from a few months ago. I think it was the Spicier Smoke, and that was a really good sauce. But let's take a look at the sauce here. So we have the Shaquanda's West Indian Curry. It says, the Queen of Caribbe uh, Caribbean Sauces has done it again. In this West Indies inspired sauce, Shaquanda's signature curry blend forms the base while Scotch bonnet chilies add tropical heat. Um, let's see, warming spices like cinnamon and allspice mixed with zippy ging ginger and citrusy scotch bonnet peppers for a symphony of island delight. With its complex, well-balanced profile, this sauce is a flavor powerhouse. Use it as a marinade for chicken or try your hand at a West Indian fish curry. So again, uh, this is the second one of the sauces I've had from this company. Spicier smoke was really good. It was pretty spicy and pretty good. Uh, what's it? This is, again, the West Indian curry hot pepper sauce. It looks like this one has a little bit easier label to get into than the wax one from the Dawson sauce. Of course, it's going to be a pain to open as well. You can at least get the get the exacto knife out. We can actually hopefully get it open. This feels like every bottle is going to be a challenge tonight to actually actually open up. There we go. All right, so shake it up. It smells pretty good. All right, we got our bread here. This is a more liquidy sauce. I think the one the sauce before this was a little bit thicker. It has scotch bonnet, so it should be fairly spicy. So there is the uh, the sauce. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, that's definitely hotter than the um, first one. It's pretty good. I think I like their spicier smoke um, smoke more. This one's got a decent heat, pretty good flavor. Um, I think I just like spicier smoke a little bit more. So this is, again, the Shaquanda's West Indian Curry Hot Pepper Sauce. There's our bottle there. They always have kind of interesting artwork on the bottles for them. Let's get a sip of water to cleanse our palate. All right, and now we're on to the main event here, which is the new Last Dab. So the Last Dab Apollo, made from um, Apollo peppers, which are apparently the hottest pe pepper in the world now. I think I got an email about this from Heatonist uh, a while ago when they announced it. Um, the Apollo pepper made by, of course, by Ed Curry, who kind of curated the um, created the um, Carolina Reaper as well as Pepper X. And here we go. So Hot Ones, the last dab, Apollo. The Apollo pepper has been carefully bred and nurtured by Hot Ones' mad science or scientist, Smokin' Ed, from uh, price drains of his famed Carolina Reaper and Pepper X. It looks like a hybrid between those two. The Apollo brings its this heritage to new heights of capsaicin, packing a more concentrated punch than any of its forebearers. The flavor of the Apollo comes from the sweetness of Carolina Reaper, tinged with the earthiness of Pepper X. It's a culinary powerhouse. The heat profile of the Apollo is akin to having your head slowly lit aflame. Uh, you feel the fire consume your entire skull, your tongue, your tongue smolders, burning tears pour from your eyes, and then five minutes later, the ride is over, your heart rate returns to normal, and the panic uh, subsides. This pepper or this pepper is like no other. Uh, speaking of heart rate, I have my Fitbit on, so let me actually check my heart rate now. I don't know if that's actually going to go up or not. 89 beats per minute at the moment. And I, so I really like Carolina Reapers. I think they're a really they're really spicy pepper, but they also have a lot of flavor. And there definitely is, um, you know, a sweetness to the Carolina Reapers. So, and so I've had, I didn't have the original last dab. I, I don't know how many last dabs they've done. This is at least the third, because I know when the show started, they had one variety, and then they went to the last dab, which is the one I've tried, which is the one with Pepper X in it. 
And now they have the last dab, Apollo. All right. So let's do this here. All right, let's see how it goes. All right. Smells pretty, 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 pretty strong. Looks like it's a pretty, pretty thick sauce. Whoa, 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 whoa. That might be too much, but uh, let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so definitely the sweetness of Carolina Reapers there, and the heat hits pretty much immediately. Whoa. All right, this is definitely a lot hotter than the, the last stab I had before. Heart rate, 86. It's actually gone down a little bit. All right, so my, yeah, my Carolina Reaper has a kind of a delayed kind of heat reaction. Not with this one. This one pretty much hit immediately, and it's really intense. I again don't know if it's hotter than Thor's hammer. That's probably like the hottest one I've had. It's probably at least just as hot as that. Let's see here. We're at 88. So actually, it's gone. Went from 89 to 87, like 86, back up to 88. Now it's at 88 still. But yeah, my lips are kind of on fire. My tongue's definitely on fire. I can feel my nose starting to kind of run a little bit. And um, sometimes, I don't know if it just does it, if this happens for everybody, but with certain sauces, like the really hot ones, my ears actually will kind of like tingle like, like, a, like, like right here. It's doing that with this one as well. Oh, and uh, yeah, let's actually read out the, in the ingredients. I didn't actually read those. So Apollo pepper, distilled vinegar, Apollo pepper powder, the Apollo pepper uh, distillate. So yeah, this actually has three versions of the Apollo pepper. And they have, I think, like the, the whole peppers or fresh peppers, um, powdered, powdered peppers, and then a distillate of that. The last sauce I remember having with a distillate was the one that had Carolina Reaper distillate in it. It was the uh, constrictor, and that was super hot. This is incredibly hot. My nose is actually starting to run a little bit. Let me actually get a, get a tissue there. But I actually think um, I think I like this one more than the, the original last dab. I probably would probably use this very sparingly. It's just insanely hot. Um, a lot of the other sauces that I have that are kind of just like the more that ones that are more kind of just that you do as like a like a challenge. I have quite a bit left. I have quite a bit of the uh, constrictor left. I have the Scorpion, which I didn't even really like. Um, have a lot of that left. I have a good amount of the original last dab, or the first last dab that I had with Pepper X. And this is just whew, really spicy. Definitely up there with um, with Thor's Hammer. Probably maybe, maybe spicier. It's about the same, I think. I can't really tell. But hopefully in a few minutes, this will all kind of like uh, go down. And we're actually down to 85 beats a minute. So it's uh, my heart rate didn't get super elevated from, from eating that. It's definitely insanely hot, though. Um, that's going to do for this month. We'll be back next month in November when they do another box. But, uh, yeah, this is whew, some pretty good sauces. Um, like the flavor of the shawarma sauce. Not super, not super hot, though. Good flavor. Not a lot of heat. The Shaquanda's um, kind of like, uh, what was this? West Indian curry. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit more heat. Pretty good flavor. And then... Um, this one has like a, like a touch of sweetness from the Carolina Reapers and then just heat, insane amount of heat after that. I don't know how this compares to like something like the bomb. I've never actually had the bomb. I think this is, pr I've heard the bomb is just really hot and doesn't taste very good. This is actually really hot and actually has a decent flavor to it. But again, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. That's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.